Hi, I'm Ryan from Amber Elm. So this week I really wanted to make a prototype sample library for a tape piano. Uh, ever since I got this piano in my studio about a year ago, I wanted to make a tape piano or like a nostalgic sounding piano. Uh, so, and I thought it would make a really good video, so uh, I got to work. Sort of. I started planning out all the mics that I would use, uh, the different placements of those mics, the effects that I was going to add, and like so the controls that you could have over the instrument, and even started learning a little bit about how to script decent sampler libraries, which I'm not very good at. And so I just started playing something just to make sure that the mics were in the general position I wanted them to be, um, and I started playing this. And then the week went a little sideways. As I was listening back to what I had recorded and making sure that the mics were in the right places, my mind started to wander a bit and I kind of started noodling around on my DeepMind synthesizer. And I had some Juno 106 patches called up from like an old project and it like immediately reminded me of Stranger Things. And I really liked it. So I just hit record and I thought that would be the end of it. And then around three or four days later, I had a nearly finished track and no work done on my tape piano. So I knew there was no way I was gonna finish this tape piano by Monday. And to be honest, I really didn't want to. All I wanted to do was finish this track. And so that's what I did. Uh, and it was really, really fun. And it's just for me, and I probably won't even release it. Uh, maybe I'll share it here on YouTube. Um, but I just wanted to finish the track. So I was reflecting on why I sort of put aside making the tape piano for a whole week and instead decided to like make this Stranger Things-y, synthy thing. Um, and what it really came down to was time management. Starting this channel um, and making YouTube videos has been a lot of fun, but it's also been a lot of hard work, you know, between the scripting and figuring out lighting and editing and all that. Um, it can be, you know, kind of a time suck. And I have 11 subscribers as of shooting this video. I only know three of them. And while that is, you know, eight subscribers, it's really small and kind of laughable. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I, I think it's really cool that in the world there are eight yeah, eight people out there in the real world who kind of care what I have to say. But as I've been working on the channel, I realized that I hadn't actually like sat down and written a track uh, for about two weeks. And for me, that's a really long time to go without writing like any music. So as I started to play for the tape piano recordings, I think all the music just sort of started to vomit out of me um, and I just needed to work on it. Blech. So this week really helped me realize that I have to do a better job with time management. Um, just like everybody else, I have a lot going on. Uh, I have a wife and two kids. I play out with a group here in Austin. Um, I like to write my own music. I have a YouTube channel. Um, and just on top of that, you know, I enjoy other things. But when one of those things gets really busy, you know, naturally something else has to take a back seat. And when something else has to take a back seat for too long, it has a way of making itself known. This week in the form of compulsively writing 80s synth music. I used to always think that you couldn't schedule creativity. Like I couldn't say, oh, I'm gonna work X number of hours writing music on these days, and that will never work because you can't schedule inspiration. But I also think I've always known that that's a giant cop out. It's not that it's too hard, it's really that I just don't prefer it. Um, and to be honest, who really cares? If you're trying to juggle a lot of things, you are gonna have to compromise a little bit on your preferred ideal work environment um, if you do wanna truly get all those things done. You know, there's been plenty of times where I've been working for somebody else uh, on a film or on a short little project that I had to just make myself right. And at the end of the day, it was no different. I was happy with the work that I came up with. It's not that, you know, because I scheduled the time to write that it wasn't good or it wasn't as good as it could be. It was just, it's just that I don't prefer to work that way. And no one does. You wanna just write when you wanna write, but whatever, you, you get the point. And if I get resentful that I'm spending too much time on making YouTube videos or I'm gigging too much, um, then I can look at starting to cut things out of my schedule. Uh, but this time, this week, this one's on me. I have bad time management. Next week, I should have a prototype for the tape piano ready for download on EXS formats for Logic and for Contact. Probably not Decent Sampler, just because I'm sort of a scripting idiot, um, and that's I, I think that's the only way you can do it on Decent Sampler right now. Um, but I'm really excited to actually do it. I kind of got this out of my system. I'm gonna do better with my time management, and uh, I'll see you next week.